was that clomp? Whatever that is on the seat belt. Do I try and eat one of these? Paint's coming off. 500 quid, I don't think I can get anything better than this. Okay, the, the bit of paint just fell off it. Maybe the wood screws are holding some bits together. Quite a big one. Now I got a ride or die. So guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see by today's video, we are challenging ourselves, I'm challenging myself, to buy something for 500 pounds. Now, due to COVID taxes and the lack of cars, used cars, new cars, it's actually been really, really hard for me to shoot this video. In fact, it's taken me three weeks to buy a car. Yes, three whole weeks of searching to find something that's actually worth buying. Now, there is a lot of cars out there that are, you know, 500 quid, but I wanted something cool, something slightly different and slight, I don't know, something prestigious as well. Something that shows real value for money in the market at the moment. And that has been one of the hardest things I've done in recent years. It is so hard to buy a car at the moment cheap. It has taken, again, three whole weeks for me to actually make this video. So cars that we're looking at, so we'll go, we will go distance, so I'm on the Isle of Wight, so that makes things slightly harder. And then we'll actually put um, a price of We'll put 750 because then I might be able to bring people down. Now, this is what I was doing pretty much on a daily basis across eBay and across Facebook Marketplace. And these are the sort of results we were getting. Now, sport, diesel, spares or repairs. I wanted something with an MOT that we could drive away, you know, that didn't have too many problems. Bidding on a Mark V Golf there in Gosport. Pretty cool car. Not prestigious enough, I don't think, though. Another R32 replica there. Parts, bidding or best offer. You know, once you start looking through, it's mostly stuff that's breaking but as you can see most of the things that are actually coming up are either parts cars or cars that are just not worth buying apart from this that's quite cool 1.8 sri i'm weird but it's not prestigious enough we'll also make our way over to facebook marketplace by going on the vehicle section of the marketplace as you can see first thing that comes up this bmw convertible cool car pretty prestigious 91,000 miles but cat c spares or repairs the clutch has now gone so i wanted something that's running and driving so that really doesn't help c2 again not not really prestigious enough for what we're after. So this obviously left me with a huge dilemma. What do we buy? How do we go around actually buying something for 500 quid that's got an MOT on it, that is running and driving, and that isn't too terrible or entry level or something relatively luxurious? What can we get value for money versus how much money we've actually got to spend, which is 500 quid? But thankfully word got out that I was actually doing this and a friend of a friend introduced me to the car that I've just gone and picked up and bought. Now I usually would go into uh, us going and have a look around the car and buy it but we, we've been looking for so long to actually find something i just literally said yeah i'll have it because it's really really cool and i definitely think it's worth 500 quid so i'd like to introduce the 500 pound cheap car challenge car vehicle thing hopefully it starts <laughs> An ML 500 for 500 pounds. There is quite a lot of faded paint on the bonnet random it's starting to show telltale signs of this uh, era of mercedes being slightly rusty not too rusty but there's a rust patch here okay the, the bit of paint just fell off it there's rust here on the passenger door quite a big one there's rust here bubbling quite nicely oh don't press it that's soft there's rust here where the, the boot is very odd it looks like water's been collecting the paint's coming off other than that the body works actually pretty clean got xenon headlights it's got amg badges but i feel like in this era of ml they didn't make an amg ml 500 it was a 55 leave a comment below i'm not too sure but in all fairness that's not that bad the body is actually pretty clean regardless of slight rust that's common on all of this generation of mercedes i do feel it's not in too bad condition but go inside and see um 
what, 150 odd thousand miles does to an ML500. Now, jumping inside the ML, we find a luxurious interior, exactly what I was after for my solid 500 pounds that I put into this thing. It has, as a small list of things that you will find in this ML, cruise control, heated seats, multi-stage heated seats actually, folding mirrors, third window pop-out thingies. We have a low range button. We have somewhere that there would have been a phone at the time. There is probably the coolest cup holder ever great utilization of space we've got automatic lights the heating works it's got some weird wood oh there's a oh hello there's a dog lead is that for people or dogs we're gonna put that back because i'm not sure what the owner of this car did last with that oh there's stuff in here car glass wipes sun lotion no way there's a euro in here we've got a euro we've got a 50 cent we've got a screw we've got whatever that is that might have something to do with the electronics what else is in here let's have a look multi-stage center armrest a receipt from helfords not sure what that is it's definitely on sale the fifth 22 so it's been in regular use, as you can see. Some Tic Tacs. Do I try and eat one of these? I don't actually know the, the owner of this uh, car. Actually, they might have. They taste like a Tic Tac. This might all go downhill after this. Might be some dodgy Tic Tacs with some things on them and stuff. Some more pennies and some more wood screws. I found some wood screws in here. It's very, very odd. Maybe the wood screws are holding some bits together we'll find out at some point on the roof we have a sunroof don't know if it works yet we'll find out in a minute you have vanity mirrors lights don't work but let's go through what's broken so first off i'll start it out i will point out that i went to pick this car up and it didn't start it was dead now as you can hear there is a slight exhaust blow that's fine there is so little fuel on this, I'm worried that we're not gonna make it to the petrol station. The heating works absolutely fantastic, but I can't actually change the heating at all. And the center console doesn't work whatsoever. I mean, it doesn't even turn on. Uh, the low range button just flashes, that doesn't work. The lights don't work. The coolant lights on actually, oh, we better check that. I did, I did check it. Let the lights just come back on. The back of the ML isn't too bad. There is a few age related marks. There's some, whatever that is on the seat belt. Mm. Also some switches in the center for the rear passengers. This doesn't open. Well, it doesn't look like it's open. This one does. Whee! Interestingly enough though, it actually does have the back seat option, but with no back seats. So there's actually no back seat. Sorry, uh, well, uh, I won't blur the jump leads out, but yeah. They're there just in case. It's actually incredibly spacious. Again, there are seating for this third row, but the seats aren't actually with the vehicle. So I'm not really sure where they went. And again, the jump leads are just in case. Now we're going to take this for a drive. We do need petrol. So I'm going to go and put some petrol in it. It is super comfortable in here. I'm really surprised that um, for this money, uh, you could buy this level of car. I'm genuinely shocked. It's also got Bose sound system, but as I've already said, the center console radio doesn't actually switch. Starting at 165,000 miles. Yeah, you can hear that blow nicely. I think the heating system's actually intermittent because on the way here, when I picked this car up, that wasn't working and now it started working again. So maybe it's a fuse, maybe it's a relay. The heated seats are now, no, no, they're not working. They're just flashing. So yeah, the heated seats don't work. Well, this whole switch panel here likes to go on and off, very odd. So into reverse, doesn't clonk. Mirrors drop. The mirrors are dropping. Okay, I can't actually see anything out of that one now, <laughs> but. I've already driven this, as I've already said, so I wanted to get an idea of what this drove like way before I put it on camera. Steering, power steering, absolutely lovely. Turns really, really well. No binding or anything. No clonks. Brakes are really good. The only thing I did notice is how responsive the throttle is. I mean, like, when I say responsive, I mean, like, you can put small toe on it and it shoots down the road. There's a crack in the windscreen. I hadn't noticed that. Didn't even notice that. It's actually like a full-on crack at the bottom of the windscreen there. Anyway... Enough of that. Problems. It's not a problem. It's fine. Onwards to the petrol station, hopefully, and then it hopefully it starts after. Initial impressions. Slightly wallowy, but I think what was that clonk? <laughs> it just clonked. I hope the camera caught that. It wallows a little bit. I think that's down to the tires though. The tracking's a little bit out. I mean the steering. I'm fully moving the steering and nothing is happening on the front end. But apart from that. It's actually lovely in here. It's comfy, it's spacious, you can lounge around. Imagine paying 55,000 pounds for this, you know, the equivalent of 55 grand these days. As you know, they'd probably be like 
£90,000 these days, these luxury German whips. Anyway, we're going to get ourselves into the local Asda petrol station and put 20 English pounds. How much? You reckon it'll come off a red light? It's on red light, not, like really on the red light right now. Let's see if it comes off the red light with 20 quid. I very much doubt it. Pretty messed up. I went to the wrong side petrol pump. <laughs> Yeah, I might have messed up there because uh, the petrol filler cap is on the different side to what I thought it was. Anyway, should we try that again? I just, I know full well the petrol pumps in this Asda on the Isle of Wight are not very long. So we're not even going to try and beat it around the car just to, uh, just to get it in there. So 12, just over 12 litres. Let's have a look, shall we? The red light's still on. <laughs> oh no, it's just gone out. It, it's literally teetering over, light being on. 20 pounds? Madness. That's it's expensive to run a car like this, let's get it wrong. But, oh, I was just checking the aircon actually, and it doesn't work. It's blowing slight cold, but the heating is insane in here. It's so, so good. So thankfully that still works. So as our second maiden voyage, you know, after me buying it, I just wanted to make sure it actually works for YouTube. Very, very powerful in a sense of the throttle response demonstration. It, I didn't even put my foot down and it's just like, oh, you need to go fast. Like literally, this is me resting my foot on the throttle. It's, it's just, yeah, it goes. But just shy of 300 horsepower, it's not gonna be mad fast in a two, 2.2 ton car from the early 2000s. So I might leave today's video here. If you did like this style of video, as I enter a roundabout, please let me know in the comments below. Do you think I've bought a winner here? This series is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna do a few things with it. Then we're gonna see how far we can take this thing and see what we can do with it. The wallowiness is so funny. Brakes, yeah, for a zebra crossing not too bad do you know like in all fairness for 500 quid i don't think i can get anything better than this i'm gonna leave it up to you guys though and this is what i did with the last videos like this where buying a cheap car and see what we can do with it i have a few ideas i know full well where this is going to go but let me know in the comments below if one you would happily put your money into a 500 pound car and two what would you like me to do with this should we scrap it should we take the cats off it should we drive it into the ground should we take it off-roading I don't think it's going to pass its next MAT. It might, it might not. We don't know. Or do we trade it on? I don't think this is worth trading on. I don't think they're worth enough money. I don't think the money's in there for us to go and buy something else. So let me know in the comments below. I have a good idea as to where I want to take this uh, video series. We're going to do sort of a five, six part series of this car. But let me know because I want to know your thoughts. And do you think I've got a lemon or do you think I've actually done all right here? But as ever, guys, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you all on the next one. Foot down. Horrendously slow. Like slow. That's 30. <laughs>